Here's today's camera rig. I have a tripod set up here, and on top of that is the Slypod Pro motorized camera slider. Out on the end, I have a three axis gimbal set up here, and then just kind of bypassing both of these two axis coming off of here is a friction arm clamp that comes down to where I'll have my iPhone 13 Pro mounted down here. So this whole thing can rotate around. And here's the uh, subject of this video. The slide pod has controls on it right here, so I can just hit play on that. The three axis gimbal is wirelessly connected to my iPad. So as that's moving out, I can then hit the controls on here to start the rotation. And this is the shot that I got with it. I also did a bit of video magic in Final Cut Pro to erase the legs of the tripod so that you wouldn't see them when the camera spins around. Here's my DIY camera rig of the day. Down here I have my tripod, a small electric camera slider, a ball head mount that can pivot the camera, a friction arm clamp with a selfie stick, and then this other arm clamp hooked on the other side of my desk that comes out and this just acts as something for the selfie stick to bump into which then becomes a pivot point so as the camera is sliding across it's going to turn the camera and keep the camera facing at the subject of our video so you'll end up with a video that looks like this where the camera is sliding and panning at the same time Here's four DIY camera slider ideas for filmmakers on a budget. Camera sliders can be really expensive. So, idea number one, a drawer. Number two, a door. Number three, a dust mop. It might surprise you just how smoothly this will glide across the floor. And number four, if you have any toy cars laying around the house, these can work really great as well.
Here's the DIY camera rig of the day. I've got a piece of PVC pipe around the neck of my tripod, a friction arm clamp, another tripod, and then a phone mount up here. So my phone can go right in here, and then I can get a nice spinning behind the scenes shot of my camera on the tripod. This is the best gimbal for your GoPro. While this gimbal is actually meant to be used with a smartphone, it can also easily hold a GoPro as well. And the reason I love using this gimbal with the GoPro is because of this little gadget right here. This is an integrated camera that provides the gimbal with AI-powered motion tracking. Meaning that whether I'm using my smartphone or a GoPro, this gimbal is acting as a personal cameraman, keeping me perfectly centered in the middle of the shot that I'm filming. Here's today's bicycle camera rig. This setup is for capturing cool third person shots when I'm filming by myself. Here I have a small rig clamp mount. Screwed into that is a double sided quarter 20 stud, which allows me to then connect a selfie stick. And out here is the Insta360 X3. This rig can be moved all around on the bike for getting different camera angles. Insta360 actually makes a dedicated bike mount for this exact purpose, so I'll leave a link to that if you want to check it out as well. Here's today's camera rig. I set this up to get some nice rotating product shots of things on my desk, and this rig ended up working really well. At the base of this rig is the K&F Concept carbon fiber tripod, which I specifically chose because of the high quality ball head mount on here that rotates super smoothly. And this is where the entire spinning rig is going to pivot. On top of this is the Slypod Pro electric monopod slider. This works really nicely because the back end of this acts as a counterweight to keep the entire thing balanced. On the end of this is a magic arm connected to a phone to tripod mount adapter. And I'm filming with the iPhone 13 Pro. This rig gets placed underneath my desk so that the axis point that the camera is rotating around will be centered directly below the product that I'm trying to film, which is sitting on top of the desk. On the desk, I have the product that I'm shooting and it's being lit by these Ulanzi RGB lights. One other cool thing about using the Slypod Pro for this setup is that I can turn on the electric slider function and then the camera is going to be moving closer or further away while also rotating. And here's some of the shots that I got with this setup. If you guys want any of this cool camera gear, there'll be links for each one of these pieces of equipment in the description below.
how I created this floating desk video. I started off with just these two lights in the background and nothing else on the desk. I've got an electric camera slider with the iPhone 13 Pro and an iPad wirelessly controlling the slider. So I can hit play on here to start the slider. And this way I can repeat the same exact camera move at the same exact speed as many times as I want. The first video I recorded is what you call a clean plate. It's just the background elements and nothing else. Then I added a bunch of stuff into the scene and filmed a second video with the same exact camera movement. With the online video editor runway, I used the AI tool called InPainting to erase the stands that were holding up the lights in the first video. Using their green screen tool, which doesn't even require you to have a real green screen, I was able to isolate all of the objects in the second video and then overlay this on top of the clean plate. see exactly what gear and different cameras that I used while building these different camera rigs. Links for everything in the description below. I have a whole bunch of different camera rigs that I've built in this playlist right over here if you want to see some more cool camera rigs. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.